In this video, I'll show you how to set up a stand in Please Donate. If you found this guide useful, then please consider subscribing. And then once you've done that, then please consider leaving a like and let's get right into this guide. The first thing you need to do to make or set up your stand is go up to one which is currently unclaimed. As you can see, it says unclaimed at the bottom. Then once you go and get this option here, you can go and hold your mouse on it, or you can just hold E and do the same thing. And then it's gonna go and claim it. Then once you've claimed it, it'll then go and say your stand down here. And then above it, you're gonna have the area for donation buttons, but it's pretty likely you won't have any if you haven't set up a stand before. So I'll show you how to add them. And then at the top, you've got some text. So to go and customize the text, run up to it again and hold E or click, and you can go and edit your stand. So here you can go and type things in. I could go and put hi, then tap apply, and then it'll be applied, and there it is. And then you can go and also change the look of the booth as well in the settings. So tap here, and you can go and cho choose the booth model here as well. You can buy more uh, booths in the booth shop, but you probably want to go and add some donation buttons. And so to do that, you firstly need to go and close off of Roblox and head to the website. And here we are back on the Roblox website. So essentially to go and get donation buttons on your stand, we need to go and sell something on Roblox. And the easiest thing to go and sell is game passes because with things like shirts and things like that, you have to go and pay 10 Robux and put them for sale. But to go and put a game pass on sale is free. So I'll show you how to do that. Go to the top of Roblox and then go and tap on the create button like so. Now, when you go and tap on the create button, there's actually a few different pages you may be taken to. In this case, I've been taken to this studio page and what I'll need to do is tap on manage my experiences. However, you may get taken straight to this creations page and you may even be taken to a different page as well. If that's the case, then all you need to do is go to your address bar and make sure that it says create.roblox.com. I'm going to go and hit enter again. And as you can see, it will be taken to this page here. So if you can't get to this page here, just go to that exact address there and you'll be here. On the creations page, make sure you've got experience selected and everyone's going to have a place here. This is just a default uh, feature Roblox have. So go and tap on it like so. And then once you're on your place, we can go and create a game pass for this because it's sort of like a game or experience. Then go over to the left hand side and go and tap on associated items. And then we've got the option for passes. So go and tap on passes just like so. And now what we can do is go and create another pass or maybe it's your first one. So go and tap on create a pass like this. And then what we need to do is upload an image with one of these formats, a name and a description, and then we can go and create it. And then I'll show you what to do next. So firstly, tap on upload image and upload an image. This can be of most things, just make sure that it's within Roblox rules. So in this case, I just went and uploaded my logo and now we need to go and name it. So just make sure your name is once again within the Roblox rules. I'm gonna go and call this awesome pass because when people go and donate, they're essentially buying this pass. They will be able to see what it's called. So you might as well make it kind of cool. And then I just like to have thank you for donating, but it's up to you. Then once you finish here, come to the bottom and tap on create pass. And if you get any error, when you go and tap on that button, it's usually due to the image format. So go and use a different image or you can go and convert the image to a correct format, which is listed there. And as you can see at the moment, it says off sale. And for this to appear as a donation button on our stand and please donate, it needs to be on sale. So go and tap on it like this and then go over to the left hand side and tap on sales. And then make sure you toggle on item for sale. And then you can go and set the price and the price needs to be what you want the donation to be. So in this case, I want say a one Robux donation, but just remember that Robux do have a tax and they take 30% and you keep 70%, so just consider that. But there we go, tap on save changes and then let's head back to please donate and I'm gonna go and show you the donation button. Here we are back on please donate. So I'm now gonna go and claim a stand and show you that we've now gone and added a donation button. As you can see, there it is. We've now got that one Robux button. And if you want multiple buttons, then all you need to do is go and create multiple game passes. If you found this useful, then please consider leaving a like. Peace.